early into my first year of college in New York City. I was 20. I started dating Jessica my junior year of college. My vowing began when I was still a teenager. I was in college. I went to a very small acting school. And one of my dorm mates came into my room to convince me to go to a party. The first time she raped me, I was on my way to church. I remember him leading me to his dorm room and saying, lie down, take a nap. I think I fell asleep, but I don't really know. And we started kissing again, it happened. She was being aggressive again, but this time was different. I opened up my eyes again at one point and realized we were having sex. I was raped as an undergraduate student. How do I make this stop? I was crying at this point. I couldn't speak. I was terrified, alone. I thought, I'm not a virgin anymore. What am I fighting for? I just let her finish. I was so ashamed. Suddenly I was that girl who got drunk at the party and woke up with a stranger. And I was mortified. The whole incident played over and over again in my mind. And the only thing I thought was that I did fight enough. I tried pushing it aside for several months, but I couldn't deny the reality. I didn't know what to do or how to handle it. And I was afraid if I told anyone how I felt, they'd attack me or call me crazy or accuse me of slander. I tried to, to commit suicide ten months later. That would not be the last time. I would attempt again four more times, each time resulting in failure. When she forced herself onto me, I still blamed myself, and I told no one about this story, but I had to get out. I don't know why I'm writing this. I just know that if this story lived inside me for any longer, it was going to destroy me from the inside. After my last suicide attempt, I don't know what snapped in my head. I was tired. I was tired of suffering at the hands of someone who didn't feel as though I was a human being and that I did not deserve to be treated as such. I was tired of feeling like maybe I was getting better to then have everything come crashing down again. There's nothing more frustrating than regretting something you know you didn't actually do. There is nothing I could do to change this because it wasn't a mistake I made. It was something that was done to me. But I knew was, I was still the one who would hold all the blame for it. Now, after seeing a counselor and talking to her, I began to heal. I began doing things that reminded me every day that what happened to me was not my fault. I've healed a lot since, and I'm still healing. I think I'm fine one moment, but then sort of ebbs and flows. It's just understanding and accepting that this actually happened to me. And that's the hardest. But I'm working on it. And I'm still growing. I found hope and healing in sharing my story because almost every time I do, someone comes up to me and tells me that they identify with me and they like me. One in four women and one in ten men are sexually assaulted in their lifetime. These stories can be you. The solution is not to be silent. Speak up. Let your brothers and sisters know in Christ that we're here to help you. Do not let your rape define you.